What you are looking at are a series of caves which seemingly contain tints of blue along with the colors orange, white, and black. These are known as the Marble Caves and can be found just above the water level of General Carrera Lake in southern Chile. Since people are highly curious about what exactly caused these colors, I will rapid fire explain each color's origin. Orange occurs due to iron oxide inclusions which, due to weathering, naturally have a rust-like appearance. The black represents what was once fossil-rich limestone with abundant carbon from organic material before it turned to marble. The white represents marble with very few impurities as this represents the default color of calcium carbonate or CaCO3. And the blue is not actually a true color as it instead appears due to the reflection of light on blue glacial sediment rich waters. But how did this geologic formation originate? Before I answer this question, we need to first establish what exactly marble as a rock type is. Marble is defined as a typically low-grade metamorphic rock of a generally white color, which forms when typically low degrees of heat and pressure transforms a rock that was once more than a combination of 90% limestone and dolosone to a harder, more dense rock. This causes the calcium carbonate to recrystallize during this process, which generally occurs at a temperature of about 200 degrees Celsius or 392 degrees Fahrenheit. Taking this into account, the marble caves were once a rich limestone environment which got deformed after hundreds of millions of years. The origin of this fascinating cave system, which could be classified as a karst terrain type landform, can be traced back to a period of time 320 million years ago when the Earth was in the midst of the Carboniferous period. During this period, widespread rainforests covered the land while large fish or sharks dominated the oceans and seas. And what was to become the Marble Caves was the site of a temperate coral reef which had numerous creatures with hard-shelled parts. As these creatures died, their hard calcium carbonate-rich parts fell to the bottom of the ocean. Over a lengthy period of time, this eventually built up a thick limestone rock unit which was likely once more than 100 meters thick. This limestone eventually rose above sea level due to not only uplift but also because the regional sea level dropped as significant volumes of water were locked in ice caps that formed the planet's poles. Now permanently above sea level, separate sedimentary rock and breccia rock layers piled on top of the limestone. This rock unit was eventually buried by a significant extent of perhaps as much as 2,000 meters. Then, around 30 million years ago, a major mountain building event occurred known as the Andean Orogeny. As an oceanic plate subducted into the mantle below, it transferred compressional forces into the South American plate, causing rocks to deform, fold, and be uplifted. It was during this process that the limestone turned into marble while also retaining significant folds which can be seen in the marble caves. Then, 20 million years ago, a large graben developed, causing a lengthy block of north-northeast facing land to sink while the surrounding rock units rose in comparison. After millions of years of erosion and weathering, the marble rock units became exposed on the surface. When the last ice age ended, meltwater poured into the low valley, eventually forming the massive General Carrera Lake. Although this water had a fairly neutral pH, we must take into account that calcium carbonate, which made up more than 95% of the marble, has a pH of 9.9. .9. Thus, when wave action from the lake began colliding with sections of the marble, chemical weathering caused large sections of it to dissolve. Some of the tilted layers were slightly harder than surrounding rock, causing harder pillars to remain while softer bits became large caves. This weathering has occurred at a fairly rapid pace with the caves forming completely within the last 10,000 years. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.